Yesterday was warm. Today, wet. We're in for several rounds of rain over the next few days. Meteorologist Chelsea Ingram joins us now on our Sky Deck to tell you why we really don't need all of this rain. <laughs> Chelsea. I mean, what a difference a day makes, right? It feels like a completely different season out here right now. And if you feel like the month of February has been a bit on the soggy side, well, you are right. Let me take you to this graphic and show you a look at why. 15 of the 22 days so far this month have seen a trace or more of either rain or snow and even some days a mixture of both as we have seen. And you know what? It is all starting to add up. Looking at the month so far, we have seen already over five inches of precipitation. That is, believe it or not, nearly three inches above average for this time of year. And you know what? We have even more rain that's going to be heading our way all the way through the weekend. So the big question is, how long is the rain going to stick around? Let's send it inside now to meteorologist Kate Bilo for the details. Kate. Thanks so much, Chelsea. And you know, what's interesting, as Chelsea said, we've been above average precipitation wise, but we are well below average snowfall wise in February. And that tells a lot of the story. Most of our precipitation has been in the form of rain, all except for the snow we had last Saturday. That certainly counts in a few other mix events as well. Storm scan three showing the rain for today starting to move on out. We do have a line of showers, some steadier downpours here over southern Newcastle County, portions of Salem and Cumberland counties in New Jersey as well, starting to see this Clear, but unfortunately, this is not going to be the end of it. Still a few light showers around the city. You saw Chelsea outside with her umbrella. You may still need it this evening. Temperatures right now, well, it's cold. It's 40 degrees in Philadelphia. It's seasonably cold. That's not out, out of the normal for February, but 38 in Allentown. And notice Mount Pocono, it's 32. So any rain that comes through there could lead to some ice and freezing conditions on the roads. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. But temperatures certainly have dropped since yesterday. Yesterday at 5 p.m., it was 74 degrees degrees today at 5 p.m. 40 degrees, 34 degrees difference here in Philadelphia. Definitely feeling like we went from summer right on back to winter, but at least it's not snowing. That would be uh, just an additional slap in the face if the snow came through after a 78 degree day. Take a look at your future weather. You can see the rain moving out tonight, so we get a little bit of a break in the action overnight. We'll start tomorrow morning with another round of showers. Here's 8 a.m. and notice the pink here, an indication that up in the Poconos especially, there could be some icing as temps will be very close to freezing, so your morning commute looks soggy. There's a break in the action and then more rain just in time for the Friday evening commute, which tends to be a little earlier. People like to leave early Fridays. Here's 4 p.m. on Friday tomorrow looking a little soggy. Saturday starts with clouds, light showers in the afternoon, but the heaviest rain of this stretch looks to be Saturday night into Sunday morning. That's when the actual storm comes through and you can see Sunday morning. We're getting a soaking here at 7 a.m. May try to clear things out or at least dry things out by Sunday afternoon, but a very soggy stretch, a stalled boundary producing almost a conveyor belt of rain. It is very damp, very dreary. Now it's cold today, cold tomorrow. Temperatures actually start to rise over the weekend, so that's the only difference. Not looking a whole lot better outside, but definitely feeling a little bit better with temperatures above average. Heavy downpours are possible. Again, the heaviest rain looks to be overnight Saturday night into Sunday morning, and the highest totals will end up north and west of Philadelphia, where cumulative, cumulatively as much as three inches could fall over the next several days. So overnight, if you're out and about, the showers around for the next couple of hours, then just mainly cloudy. Now, there will be a little mist and drizzle. It's not going to be a beautiful clear night or anything like that, but shouldn't be too rainy overnight. 36 is our overnight low. Taking you into your Friday, showers around at any time. Again, it looks as of now as, as the one batch comes through during the morning commute, a second batch for the afternoon commute. It is seasonably chilly, 47, pretty much on target for the time of year. It is still February after all, despite the fact that it hasn't really been feeling like it. But again, the heavier rain comes through over the weekend, and part of that is because we're going to be pulling in more warm, moist air from the south. So we're back to 60 on Saturday. Not a lot of time to get out and enjoy it. It's cloudy with a few spotty showers, but Saturday night, especially into the first half of Sunday, is when the heavier rain will come through. I am hopeful that we try to dry things out a bit on Sunday afternoon, so maybe you can get outside and enjoy 67 degrees. But the good news is the first half of next week looks pretty nice. 60 Monday, 54 Tuesday, and mid-50s Wednesday. It's not 70s, but it is still above average for the month of February.